A former Vanderbilt doctor tragically killed after being taken hostage. Welcome into News 2 at 4. I'm Eric Egan. And I'm Erica Francis. We continue to follow this story out of Austin, Texas, as the investigation into Dr. Lindley Dodson's shooting death continues. Kids would normally be scared to go to the pediatricians, but they loved coming to see her. Are growing in Austin tonight for the 42 year old doctor and mother of three. Dr. Dodson did her residency at Vanderbilt University. Her impact as a pediatrician cut short yesterday when she was shot to death. We always pray for the helpers, and these doctors and nurses are helpers. She was probably the happiest person I've ever met. She was so loving and patient, a great teacher. Police say a pediatrician with terminal cancer went into Dodson's office with a gun and told all the staff to tie themselves up. Some of the staff members were later freed, but Dodson was not. She was ultimately killed by the gunman who then turned the gun on himself. Dr. Dodson made a similar impression on the people she worked with in Nashville. Her residency was at the Monroe Carroll Junior Children's Hospital. The director of that program remembers her to this day. News 2's Stasi Omo spoke with her, and she's live now for us from the hospital. Stasi, share with us what you've learned today. Well, Eric, Dr. Lindley Dodson did her residency here at the Children's Hospital from 2003 to 2006. Not only does the staff remember her and her Louisiana accent and her distinct laugh, but all of the residents that she met here during those years who are now spread out across the world are also mourning the loss of this woman that they say made the world a better place. You don't go into pediatrics without um, loving kids, but she had this laugh and this Louisiana accent and you just remember her. Dr. Rebecca Swan took over as director of the residency program at Vanderbilt University Medical Center about 20 years ago, just before Miss Lindley Dodson, then Lindley Spate, arrived. These residents become family members to me. I mean, I really do feel like they're almost my children and then they become my friends and colleagues after they leave and as awful as this has been in the past day and a half, we have shared between texts and social medias and emails and phone calls, some fun memories. I mean, lots of tears, but fun pictures. Pictures like this one from 2004 of Dodson laughing, likely during a 24 hour shift. Another reflection that people have said is what a great job she did as the supervising resident, how she made the call nights easier because she made it fun. So even when you're tired and you're, um, you know, you're tired, you're frustrated because you want to make sure you're doing the right thing. She just knew how to bring out the best in people. Um, and that's just the spirit that she had about her. And I think that's what you see reflected um, in what like parents in Austin are saying about how she just helped them be the best that they could be. And I think that's the, you know, that's what her legacy is going to be, how much she could just bring out the best in all of us. And even in this unexplainable tragedy, Dodson is still encouraging others to smile. It's just who she was. She has this big smile on her face. And, you know, we were telling each other yesterday that we should all smile a little more, just even though we have masks on, we're out working right now, but um, just as a way of just paying tribute to her. So I think her attitude is her legacy. And that's what you want her family to know, is that her legacy is just so rich. Dodson left here in 2006, went to Boston to work at the Harvard Medical Center, and then ended up at that private practice in Austin. So for all of the people that met her here at Vanderbilt, to all of the patients that she helped over the years, tonight it is safe to say that she is still encouraging so many to smile. Reporting live here in Nashville, Stassi Almost News 2. A full story, Stassi. Thank you so much.